Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to bring you is season 4 episode 11 of City Signings. Now just before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like on it, 40 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well, we are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the football season. So if you could subscribe, it would be massively, massively appreciated. But today we are going to be talking about the fact Bradford City have signed Niall Canavan, I believe his name is, from Plymouth Argyle on an 18 month deal for an undisclosed fee. So make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also, thank you so much for 4,300 subscribers. That is massively appreciated. If you haven't already checked out my previous couple of videos, I've talked about Will Huffer and Jordan Stevens signing. I've also talked about Ben Richards Everton departing. And you guys uh, in the comments below also said that you enjoyed the like my webcam view rather than my phone view. So we're going to stick with the webcam until everyone complains about it and then I'll go back to the phone view. But for now, we're sticking with the webcam. You guys seem to enjoy it. When I record it during the day as well, there's no stupid shadows behind me. Um, I'm recording this video on the 13th of January. Also, Austin Samuels this morning was uh, sent back to Wolves. I think we sent him back. or he got recalled. One of the two. Either way, he's gone back to Wolves. My full reaction to that should be out Sunday. We're making a lot of January business in this week, and I'm trying to keep up with it all. But obviously, I only want to upload one video a day. So apologies that some videos will be, you know, come out after. Uh, well, a couple days afterwards compared to, you know, when they actually happen. Apologies about that, but there's nothing I can really do. But make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video. So on January the 12th at 1pm, we announced breaking news. We are delighted to welcome experienced defender Niall Canavan as our third January signing for an undisclosed fee. Now, we originally tweeted out like... Um, some uh, like gif, you know, and they usually do the teasers that um, our third signing has come a long way. Now, a lot of people seem to think it was Sean Long. I think he used to play for Fleetwood, not Fleetwood, uh, for Cheltenham, the right back. Uh, I believe that's one everyone run about. But it turns out it's Niall Canavan, hence why the, the long was obviously coming from Plymouth, that's a hell of a long way. And, you know, the gif was like of a caravan, Canavan, caravan. I believe that's what they were trying to get at with that but yeah anyway we signed him on january the 12th at 1 p.m officially and the article then reads experience canavan becomes third january re recruit Bradford city is delighted to welcome experienced defender niall canavan as the club's third january signing for an undisclosed fee the 29 year old has put pen to paper on an 18 month deal from skybet league one side plymouth argyle keeping him at the utility energy stadium until at least the end of the 2021 22 campaign i believe i've said that right i don't know it's really hard with all these 2020s and 21s and 22s these days but yeah basically he's gonna be here until the end of next season standing at six foot four inches canavan began his career at scunthorpe united before spending two years at rochdale prior to joining the pilgrims who are obviously plymouth argyle and at plymouth he achieved promotion from skybet league two last season the leeds born center back who is capped by republic of ireland at under 21 level said i'm delighted to be here i have always wanted to play for this club and it is a great chance for me to come here obviously he's a braff of fan he i think he was with the club until he was 12 years old as well so you know that's always nice to see i grew up watching bradford city and i've always had that ambition to be one of the lads who runs out of valley parade i was in the academy as a young lad and used to come a lot here as a ball boy as soon as the call came in i was very eager to get the deal done and thankfully we have been able to get everything sorted this is a brilliant club and i'm looking forward to pushing on city's joint interim bosses mark truman and connor sellers said so the they both said the exact same thing um interesting i assume they're kind of just like you know, the Aston Bow up and the both saying like, you know, it's like the the rest of the lines will be a mix between both of their thoughts. Anyway, having first been identified by Lee Turnbull, which is always nice to see, you know, Lee came in as the new head of recruitment or something like that. So it's nice to see that we are actually signing some decent quality players. And like previously January transfer windows where we just wait till the last day, buy three panic signings and then we don't have a clue what day of the week it is. Anyway, back onto the article. Maya was a player we were very keen to bring to Bradford City, so I'm delighted to have got the deal done. His experience at this level and above is there for all to see and the fact he has left a club from a higher division speaks volumes of how much he's bought into what we want to achieve. He joins a team he grew up supporting and carries characteristics which typify, type, type, T-Y-P-I-F-Y. Is that typify? I've never seen that word before, but it's in the article. Anyway, that's the, that the characteristics typify what this club stands for. We are extremely confident in what we know he can bring to the side, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in the Claret and in Claret and Amber. Kind of wearing the number five shirt, meaning he's already taken over Ben Richards Evans' shirt. So Ben Richards Evans gone, and then we've been like less than a day 
I've already replaced him, obviously, he's six foot four, he's left footed, so he's basically Ben Richards Everton, but just a lot better. And um, then obviously signing is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. But the flag, I obviously then uh, tweeted about it as well. Defender Niall Canavan has joined official Bantams for an undisclosed fee. Thank you for your contribution at home, Park Naz, and all the best for the future. Plymouth have always been like a kind of cl classic club with their social media, and they've, you know, they've done a pretty decent sized article to say he's a player that's departed. Um, so, you know, respect to them for that. But anyway, the article reads Canavan departs. Defender Niall Canavan has left Argyle. The centre-back, 29, has joined Skybet League 2 side Bradford City for an undisclosed fee. I presume with him not having like, that long left on his contract, I think his contract expired at the end of this season. I don't think we'll have played much money for him. You know, he, I'd, he'd played the last five games for Plymouth, but he'd not played many all season to be honest with you but anyway the former Republic of Ireland under 21 international joined the Pilgrims in the summer of 2018 so he's been there for what two and a half years if my math's correct um, and just made and made just shy of 100 appearances for the Pilgrims in all competitions in green colours Niall scored five goals which you know it's not bad for a centre back is that um, his most recent coming in the 4-4 draw at AFC Wimbledon early this season Niall made 32 appearances during the Greens Skybet League 2 promotion winning campaign under Ryan Lowe, contributing a crucial last minute winner at home to Stevenage en route to the team's third place finish. Argyle manager Ryan Lowe, I've always been a big fan of Ryan Lowe, you know, I always listen to his press conferences and all this sort of stuff, his post match interviews. I think the way he speaks, you know, he's a very, very good manager. Um, and, you know, he, he's a very, he's a family man and all that sort of stuff. And I'm sure you'll be able to tell that by his following quotes. Anyway, they then read Niall did a brilliant job in getting us back into League One last season, away from his young family, and we thank him for his contribution to Argyle. He he came and spoke to me and said that he had the opportunity to move to Bradford on a longer term deal and we were not in a position to offer him anything beyond this season. So yeah, I presume his contract did run out at the end of this season. He wasn't really playing that much for them. He played quite a lot last season, you know, making 32 appearances, but he didn't really appear that often this season for them. We felt that it was not right to stand in his way. To receive a fee is a positive for the club and it now provides an opportunity for others to stake their claim as well as potential for new additions. Everyone at home part wishes Niall all the very best for the future. Now I think it's a positive that we've obviously been able to replace Ben Richards Evan pretty much straight away. We've not we wouldn't I don't think we'd have let Ben Richards Evan go before getting um, obviously Canavan basically a done deal. Which I believe that could maybe be the reason why we let Austin Samuels go. I reckon we probably will announce a new striker in the next coming days. Hopefully, it's before the uh, Crawley game, so we've got another option because if not, then our only three striking options are Novak, which is good, but Donaldson and Guthrie. Guthrie looked all right against Grimsby when he came on, but so far in Claret and Amber, he's not really done it for us. But make sure to let me know your thoughts on the signing down in the comments below because that is where I am going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively, massively appreciated. 40 likes, as I said at the start of the video, would be absolutely class. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. I am trying to hit 5,000 before the end of the season. Hope you all enjoying the content recently. I'm trying to upload every day this week and long may that continue for as long as possible. There's been a lot of business being done at Bradford City at the moment so i'm trying to keep up to date with it all as i said but yeah i hope you're enjoying the the videos recently and all that sort of stuff make sure you go down into the description follow me on twitch it would massively appreciate i'm streaming 25 hours a week which is like three or four hours each day on an evening most days and then on the weekends when it's uh, during foot champs weekend league i'm streaming uh, in the morning so make sure you come over there check it out subscribe to my second channel as well you know if you want to see any fifa videos or any gaming videos in general pro clubs icon packs foot champs rewards go down there we're on the road to 100 subs make sure you go subscribe to that but yeah thank you so much for the support recently once again get your thoughts in of this signing down in the comments below personally i'm buzzing welcome to the club Niall, and i'll see you all guys in the next video peace